What's going on guys, PXCam20 back in with a brand new video. I am glad to introduce to you guys that we are finally going NASCAR racing, baby. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yes, yeah, so we are going to be racing around a track called Blue Moon Raceway, which is a three-corner uh, track that is basically an oval. And uh, it's going to be a really interesting one here, especially because we are going to be doing this for an FIA race. So this is going to be one of the craziest races that we probably have for the season as we jump into the points right here. 304 points for first place on this lobby as we are in a top split lobby. Ah, oh, man. Are we going to be able to get that done here, especially because of how random it is? Who knows? So before we jump into the race, if you guys really enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. It really helps out the channel when you guys do so. Anyways, that is enough for more to myself. Let's jump straight into qualifying. Jumping into qualifying, we are going to see what we can get around here as uh, the crew right here are for some reason not admiring my car. But as we jump into the actual qualifying lap, you can see that on our very first flyer, we are staying right behind Vukia Sender as he's going to be our slipstream buddy. But as we cross the start finish line, we are only good enough to get a 42.942. So definitely could do a lot better than that, but we decided to go back for a second flyer. And uh, coming out of turn number three, you can see that we just get bottled up right behind a lot of these guys as they are trying to fight with each other down on a qualifier. And just a lot of things going on here is actually someone comes out of the pits with a two second penalty. So now every day you see that. And uh, as we come out of turn number one, we don't get the best of exits. Make a little bit of contact with the Aston Martin and that gives us a one second penalty. So we decided to just call it there and uh, we're going to be qualifying in 14th as uh, everyone is explaining that they are hard. And uh, this guy says he's on inters. Interesting. Okay, well, <laughs> we jump into the intro now. The strategy for this race, uh, you are given the mediums and the hard compound tires. And uh, we do have to keep an eye on the fuel as uh, you can easily run out. On the final lap as i have seen a couple of people do that I'm not saying any names adventure racing but before we jump into the race yeah the strategy is going to be with the mediums and the hards we're going to run the hards for our first stint use that for about 12 to 13 laps depending on how much we uh wear them out and then we're going to switch them off for the medium so let's see what happens here hopefully everything goes our way and that we finish in a good position for this race as we jump into the race now, we get our 3, 2, 1, and away we go as we get the American flag flown right over us. Jumping into the race, we are starting once again in 14th place as we fast forward here going to turn number 1. Spot our breaking point, make sure that we don't go too wide as 13th almost goes into the wall. We got very lucky that he didn't do that. And we just got a follow right back in line right behind the Mitsubishi as we jump into lap number 2. So. I think it happened on lap number one, but on lap number two, we're starting to get a little bit of excitement here as the Mitsubishi right ahead of us gets a one-second penalty after making contact with JWP Texas. And uh, we just follow right behind, just stay right behind him as we take a little sneak peek onto the inside. Decide to think twice about that, and uh, we just fall right back in line. And uh, it's just a little too early to be racing right now. You don't want to get separated from that first pack as you can see that there's already a second pack starting right behind us and uh, going off of turn number one on lap number three you're going to see right here that Aon Yu has to serve his one second penalty. We should be able to get around him really easily and you can see right there we are able to as well as the cars right behind us and uh, now we are just stuck right behind this pack up here as we get a little bit into the wall. Going into the wall that slows us down a lot as now we are kind of in a dangerous situation here because since we made contact with that wall that's gonna slow us down right here and you can see the little gap that is forming between 12th and 13th so at this point I'm just trying to get us organized here trying to work together and try to see if we catch up to the pack right ahead of us and luckily on lap number six things worked out fine but it's a little dangerous for me still because we are about half a second away as a couple cars get penalties and surge penalties and uh, we get two free easy positions there but again we're just a little too far back to stay with the pack right ahead of us so I'm just trying to go into all these corners as best as I can because uh, that has been kind of my trouble spot turn number three I don't know why I just could not get it down I get a lot of understeer and what happens is I end up losing a lot of time which gets me out of the slipstream and this is the result right here now as we are just struggling to keep our weight with the pack but luckily, they do get woed up a little bit going to turn number one because of a little bit of aggressive fighting that was happening right ahead of them. And uh, with that being said, BM Drifter is now only two and a half or 0.2 and a half seconds away from us. And we're able to just close the gap 
and just follow along right behind the slow stream as uh, we now jump into lap number 10. So, on lap number 10, uh, all that gap that we were able to close up has now reopened, and you can see that we are back in about six tenths away from 11th. But luckily, a couple guys do get penalties, and uh, we have UK Ascender that's coming up very, very fast on us as we uh, almost make contact with him. Luckily, he gives us the inside after serving his penalty, and now we are given two more free positions as we are promoted into 11th place. So. UK Center right behind us, he is giving us a little bit of a bump, but he decides to have different plans and overtakes us going to turn number one, which I didn't really have a problem with because uh, I knew he was a lot faster than me and his car turned a lot better. So if we could just work together and if I could give him a little bit of a bump draft here midway through the race, we could probably catch up to 10 and then we could still be a part of this race here, not lose too much time. But we do have to work together here, so um, hopefully these guys up ahead on that front pack do start fighting with each other. And the more that they fight, the closer or the easier it should be for us and uh, VQ as Thunder to catch up to them. But on to lap number 13, the tires are really starting to wear out here. As you can see on the bottom left, the right side tires are just basically almost gone. And VQ has decides to kind of do a snake into the entrance of pit road. And that really confused me there as I was going to try to follow him into the pits, but then he decided to do a double take. And that screwed us up big time because he ended up going into the pits and I had to stay out. So we basically stayed out another lap on these hard tires without any slipstream. And that really messed us up here as you can see now. If you cast thunder, look at how far of a gap he was able to get away from us with those fresh medium tires. And uh, look at where we're stuck at now as we're fighting right back here for 12th place with uh, Duster and Ender right behind us. So the strategy did not work out for us to our favor, but we do have the medium tires. So we have the softer compound tires uh, on this race compared to the hards. And you can see that we were able to just kind of stay with this pack. And luckily, you can see this pack kind of bunched back up together and we were able to form the second uh, pack here as one of the other car has to serve a penalty. It's actually BKS Thunder. And now it is about a six car battle for, uh, what is this, seventh place right up ahead. And uh, as the first pack right up ahead, even further from us, is our basically just starting to pull away now. So it's going to be a battle for seventh. Can we get anywhere near the front pack with these what is this six laps left six seven laps left in this race i don't think we'll be able to but at least we can fight for a seventh here get some good points and uh luckily one of these guys does have to serve a penalty so that's going to get one car out of this pack as uh, you can see a little bit more cars right behind us are starting to slowly reel us in here so onto the second corner we're just following along nice and smoothly we're trying to work together as best as we can as uh, we go into turn number three, Wheaties decides he wants to do something different. He tries to go into the inside, takes a little peek, but doesn't get a good exit as we come down the straight now. Going to turn number one, we spot our breaking point break very early, but we accidentally get tapped from behind by Wheaties. And that forces up into Druster, and Druster gets taken out going to turn number one. As you can see, Wheaties just made contact with us, and all that momentum just pushed us up into Druster. And uh, Wheatie gets believe either a two or three second penalty so didn't work out too well for him as uh or actually he's only gets a one second penalty but we got very lucky that we didn't get a penalty because uh that could have easily been us ramming to the back of Druster and I think Druster understood that it wasn't really my fault that we ran to the back of him because he went very easy on us so uh we just kept riding along here stayed right behind BM Drifter and try to see if we can still try to reel up this uh, front pack right ahead of us. So, on to turn number three. Uh, Ruby decides to go onto the inside, as uh, not sure where he came from, but makes a move onto the inside, makes a stick, and he is able to get the ninth place position taken away from us. So, a little bit racy coming off from Ruby. Not sure why exactly he's racing so hard because he's got a one second penalty. So, uh, it might have been a little bit more smart to just uh, try to stay behind, but I can understand why he's trying to make up some positions because he is going to serve his penalty and he might lose the pack due to this one second penalty. So, see, he serves it there, goes way behind, and uh, who knows if that'll be the last time we see him here as we now jump into lap number 22. So, on lap number 22, we're staying right behind BM Drifter as we take a little peek onto the inside. Things are starting to get a little bit more dicey as we get tapped from behind once again. 
And uh, luckily we didn't run into the back of BM Drifter, but we do make contact with the side of him as we come out of turn number one. So our drafting buddy right behind us actually has to serve his penalty, so we don't have anybody right behind us. This Drifter gets a good run off the exit, but you can see that we get a huge tap from behind. We have nowhere to go into it for the side of Drifter. And unfortunately, we just made a little bit of contact with him as we now go three wide going to turn number three. Things are really starting to pick up here as we get pushed up from the Corvettes, get sandwiched in by the two cars. And uh, you can see right here that the Corvette was just sending it onto the inside, got a very bad exit, went wide, and then we just got sandwiched right in there. So now we are demoted back from a, uh, a ninth place position all the way to 11. And luckily, we didn't lose any more positions because we could have easily been pushed back even further. And uh, now we are just following right behind Rob and Ruby. So staying right behind Ruby, we're just uh, going to turn number one as smooth as we can. And uh, just try to see if we can keep up with these guys right up ahead. And uh, I, I can see already that this is starting to shape up to a crazy mad dash to the finish. So two laps to go. What's going to happen here as they're going three wide into turn number one. The Corvette pushes a little bit of Robin Ruby into PX Quake. And uh, luckily they were able to get through it cleanly as that would have been very disastrous if they would have been slid up into the wall. As I think the Corvette would have actually gotten a penalty. So... Not sure exactly how the penalty system is working here because some things that I thought would be a penalty were not penalties and uh, things that you wouldn't think are penalties were penalties so we're just again just trying to stay away from these guys as best as we can and make sure that we, if we do attempt an overtake we can do it as clean as possible now as we come out of turn number three to lead us into the final lap so on the final lap here now Ruby gets a one second penalty and again not sure why he got that one second penalty but I know that he's got that one second penalty. It's going to be a free spot. So you attempt to make an inside move on Drifter. Drifter gets a really great exit on the outside as uh, Ruby's going to have to serve his or her one second penalty. And we are able to get around him. And uh, going down into the second corner, we're on the slipstream of Drifter as he's going side by side. We quick. We get a great run heading to the third corner. Shaving onto the inside. Drifter decides to block. We go onto the outside. We get tapped out from behind just a little bit. And uh, going into turn number three, Drifter gets a one second penalty. Ruby gets a three second penalty as they make contact. We almost run into the back of Drifter. And as we come down to the line, it's going to be a side by side photo finish. And we get a ninth place position somehow. Not sure exactly what the hell happened as we jump into the replay. You can see that we get pushed onto the inside by Drifter. Go onto the outside as we try to avoid him breaking into turn number three. Ruby just had nowhere to go, accidentally made contact with our rear, gets an undeserved 3 second penalty and uh, going down to the line it was a drag race but with that 3 second penalty we were going to be able to get that ninth place easily and uh, we were able to finish right ahead of Yukiya, Thunder, uh, Drifter and uh, Robin Ruby so very very chaotic race but also a really random and fun race that we were having here just uh, again couldn't keep up with these guys really well on the corners not sure if it was just a viper that was just giving me a lot of understeer or if it's just my talent not being there but uh either way we were able to come home with the ninth place after starting off in 14th place so we'll take a five place position uh gain and uh we'll see what we can do leading us into the next manufacturer race so let me know how you guys did around this race let me know if you guys did well or if you guys hated this race or if you guys just completely bombed this race as uh, i completely bombed the very first race on this one but we we're able to rebound back and come home with a ninth place position and get a good chunk of points here for our manufacturer cup standings but again let me know how you guys did in the comments down below if you guys really enjoyed the video which i'm guessing you guys did since you guys made it all the way to the end please feel free to subscribe and leave a like on the videos it really helps that channel when you guys do so and we did make a discord so you can find all that information in the link down below and uh, if you guys want to follow me on the twitters or on instagram you guys can find that as well in the description down below and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you guys did i hope to see you guys on the next one peace out